September the 5th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at a map uh, starting today, actually, and it's uh, talking about a very early cold front coming into parts of the U.S., and it could be critical for certain areas as far as wheat and uh, things like that, Colorado. Let me say this, uh, the hurricane that we saw come through Louisiana uh, went up through Arkansas and wiped out a lot of their uh, rice crop, and uh, maybe less than a month ago, Iowa, with the high to retro winds, it wiped out not only the corn crop, but it destroyed a lot of the uh, silos that had stored uh, corn in them, guys. So things are really changing quickly, and there's a lot of things we're going to be paying attention to up through November. But uh, they're saying a blast of cold air to freeze central U.S. next week. Now, if you got wood burners and fireplaces, you're in pretty good shape if you got wood. But just if you don't, uh, make sure you're planning for an alternative source of heat other than possibly electrical heat. Maybe you got some propane. If you don't, um, if you do, um, guys, you got LP gas and propane. Some is piped into your home. Some is tanks. You all know that. But uh, make sure you've got backup uh, coming into this. But they're saying that, uh, again, a blast of cold air to freeze the central U.S. next week. Refinitive weather analyst Ed Whalen states in a new report that big temperature changes are ahead. Whalen said parts of the western and central U.S. would see a blast of cold air early next week for a short period, especially in the Rockies and parts of the plains. The plunge in temperatures could result in snow for specific areas. Now this forecast of September 5th through the 14th is showing that Arctic air will pour into the central and western regions beginning September the 8th. Guys, today is Saturday the 5th. You don't have a lot of time to prepare for this. Now let me say this, uh, not only Mr. Whalen, he's done the September agricultural report for the central plains and midwest, but the farmers almanac are talking about an extremely cold winter coming up, guys. Last winter was pretty mild uh, in a lot of areas. Now in this agricultural report, and I think these are some of the best, they're talking about um, a favorable high rainfall pattern is anticipated through early next week across the central plains and midwest with the highest totals around two inches in the latter. It says, despite cooler conditions in the northern U.S. plains and southern Canada, temperatures across the core crop regions of North America will be fairly moderate through the next five days. This pattern overall will be largely, largely beneficial for corn and soybeans. It is the six to 10 day period, which is more notable. What they're saying here is a blast of cold air will drop temps to around 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit below normal across the central U.S. during this period. Frost freeze risk for corn and soybean regions are not expected, as only areas west of Nebraska and Kansas are likely to drop below freezing. On that note, there's a possibility for snow across some of the wheat-producing areas of Colorado, which could delay planning down the line more on precipitation. More on precipitation, a swath of heavy rainfall totals associated with the eastern edge of the low-pressure trough will range from the southern plains through the Midwest during the 6- to 10-day period. Overall, this cool and wet weather should be very favorable for late-developing corn and soybean crops. The 10-day forecast, it says this uh, latest EC extended run from uh, September 3rd depicts continued cold weather persisting through September across the vast majority of the central U.S., coupled with a near-normal precipitation pattern. If persistent, the cold weather could begin to raise concerns further for frost freeze damage to, court, uh, to corn, excuse me, soybeans, as well as delays to wheat planting. The central U.S. heating degree index, and that's how much heat uh, energy will be used uh, for heating across the nation during this, and that is up starting, uh, it will actually peak, they're saying, in two days on September 7th as it starts to move into the cooler regions. The One of the things they say in summer transition to fall, this is particularly bad for restaurants who have been surviving on serving customers on outdoor patios as public health orders limit indoor capacity. It won't be until October uh, or November when temperatures dive further that another wave of eateries will have to shutter operations as patios close. Guys, that uh, 
is not good news for restaurants, but we'll just have to wait and see on that and see if any of the restrictions are lifted between between now and the October-November uh, timeline. But guys, I just wanted to point out uh, weather's going to change in the next uh, six to ten days, so be prepared for it. We're watching a lot of things, watching the tropics. We got a few things uh, in the uh, far Atlantic coming off the African coast. We will update. We're no um, early problems. They are expected to strengthen, but I will do a full tropical update sometimes this afternoon, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.